All right, this water softener has been a pain. Uh, I kept having an issue where I didn't have any soft water, so I went over here to check it out and uh, looked like my system just kept recharging and the water was overfilling uh, over to the top and going through um, the the top part, um, the overfill, or the overflow tube over there. And so I went over to the manual, I'll show you right now, and one of the first things it says is that you can have a salt bridge. So I went over to the manual here um, and it says uh, salt bridge. Um, so I went over and grabbed my handy dandy stick and tried uh, hitting it down so that I can cave in that salt bridge. Uh, went so far as to completely empty it out. And as you can see, completely empty. Um, but that did not solve the issue. So I checked the manual again and uh, went through all some of the easy stuff and found that the Venturi could be the issue. So I uh, went over here and took this little guy apart on the side. And I found that I was missing some pieces in the gasket. There's a red gasket in here. Uh, was completely broken and clogged up. All right, before we get into the fix, I just wanted to explain a few things because I've been doing a lot of research on Venturis and I wanna make sure that you guys are all aware of what's exactly happening because it was kind of mind opening for me and I want you guys to understand it as well. So basically uh, what I found is that the Venturi is actually kind of like a two-way valve here. So Basically what it does is it fills um, the brine tank here. So uh, water comes in through here and it actually fills our tank here and mixes water with salt, right? And so that's what it's doing on kind of that recharge cycle is it's filling the water into the tank, uh, into this brine tank area. And then from there, uh, later on during that recharge cycle, the Venturi is actually becomes a vacuum and actually sucks water back up. So it doesn't suck water, it sucks brine. Let's be uh, very clear with that. Is it after it mixes the water with the salt, it sucks that new brine, which is that water and salt uh, combined together. It sucks that brine and it puts it into our resin body here. And this is where the water actually becomes salt. So the water actually becomes soft, which is the most important piece to it. So as you can see here, um, this is kind of where, you know, that brine mixes in here and actually becomes um, this soft water and then goes back out to uh, the rest of your house or whatever you're using um, soft water for. So I just want to explain that real quick um, just to make sure that you guys understood uh, what the Venturi is actually doing. It's bringing water in just as an opening valve and then also uh, doing that suction or vacuum uh, to bring that water back out. And then also, right before I get into the, the fix video, I just wanted to make sure you guys are bypassing your system before opening anything up. And so as you can see, um, you'll either have a bypass valve there or there, and you just push it in for service, as you can see there. And then you can push it in for bypass as well. As you can see there. I can clear that up a little bit for you guys, push for bypass. And then same thing, um, you can either do it if you have one for your house or if you have one um, on your actual water softener, you can do it there. All right, next thing, we'll get into the actual replacement. Okay, so to fix this, there's a couple different options. I could have gotten the uh, red gasket and just replaced that, but uh, I was worried that since it was so old and the price of the gasket was almost the same price as just getting a whole new assembly here. I think it was like 25, 30 bucks, uh, pretty easy. So I decided to buy that piece and I just, you need a needle, no, needle nose pliers, but I'm just using some channel locks and then a really small Allen wrench uh, for the little gaskets uh, right there. All right, so, or, I'm sorry, the O-rings, not the gaskets. So I kind of took this apart a little bit already, but basically what we're gonna do is we are gonna take off our hose. Um, you're gonna lift up this, this clip right here in the back. So that's where you need your, your needle nose 
pliers or uh, channel lock. So I just lift it up uh, right here. And then you just take this piece off and then you're just gonna pull out on this guy and comes out just like that. And then you have your little O-rings um, attached to it. So to replace it, I uh, got my new guy right here. I uh, put my O-rings already on top of it and I'm just gonna plop that guy right inside there, as you can see. And then it comes with a brand new clip. And so I am going to put this guy, I believe it was this way. Right onto there like that. All right, so it's nice and firm. And then I'm gonna reattach this hose. Just like so. And then I'm gonna pop this head back down. As you can see, there's a couple clips right here. It just clips right back down pretty easy. And then I'm going to fill this guy back up, make sure um, I have everything hooked up and fill it back up with a little bit of water and a little bit of salt and confirm that it works. And then fill it all the way back up with salt and I'll check back in with the results. So once I've put everything together, I am resetting the system back to its baseline. Just I want to put salt in and restart that uh, recharge cycle and to fill it up with a little bit of water and a little bit of salt. And here we have it. All right, we are about a week, week and a half um, through our Venturi replacement. I just wanna show you guys kind of the results. Uh, finally getting soft water, which we're really excited about. My glassware is coming back to not being so dirty. So super excited, wanna show the results and uh, close off this video. So here we go. So originally, uh, one of the things that got us to start doing this was we kept seeing um, really dirty and non-soft water. As you can see here, this is a clean cup, uh, believe it or not, and just a ton of like extra marks and kind of dissolved solids uh, along the cup. And this is one that we just washed. So super excited, finally getting clear, getting clean, drinking soft water again. Um, so super excited about that. And then we have filled it up. I didn't want to fill it up all the way again because it was a nightmare to completely empty, and I definitely don't want to do that ever again, but started filling up again, uh, not all the way, but super excited that we are complete. All right, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that video, and looking forward to seeing you all on the next one.